really big rush, basically. Like, you know when people go do crazy things and then they get that rush? Hey guys, Mike here from Mike and Ty Ride Bikes, and I have a special guest as I promised last time. My special guest is... Chloe. Chloe. Chloe is special because she is a 17-year-old girl and she rides a... Yamaha motorcycle. FZ09, which you guys may have seen me ride in a previous video. Watch the gym video. Anyway, we are here today at Texoma Lake. We wanted to talk about girls who ride motorcycles. So, how long have you been riding? I've been riding since I was 15 because I started early so that way I could basically drive on my own as a 15 year old. So, about two years. She's been riding for two years and what did you start on? A Honda Grom 2022. 22 Honda Grom ABS. What's the furthest you rode on that thing? Not very far. I feel like the furthest we probably rode was back here to the lake. No. We were saying that. She doesn't remember a trip where we bought a tank bag. We rode from Sherman to mm -hmm. Allen, which back roads took about an hour, maybe a little more. Oh yeah, all the, yeah. All the way. Uh -uh. Doing 55 miles an hour on a 125cc Honda Grom. It's a blast if you haven't done it. I highly suggest a road trip as far as you can go. <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> What's the furthest you've been on this bike? All the way to Wisconsin. That mother trucker. Mm -mm. We rode up to Wisconsin two years ago. Yeah. Uh, up to Milwaukee and back through Kentucky and Tennessee and everything all the way back to Texas. She got a lot of experience and I think that was two weeks into buying this new bike. Yeah. Had about two weeks of practice on a 125 right to an 850. She went from a 125 for a year to an 850 and two weeks later she was riding across the country. But she did a great job. And are there any other girls at your school that ride bikes? Nope, other than upcoming Abby, but no. Why do you think girls don't ride bikes? Probably because they're scared. I don't know. I was scared. But at the same time, maybe just because it's been so stereotyped that it's supposed to be for boys. How do boys treat you when they find out you ride a motorcycle? I think they try to test me to see if I'm like a real man because I ride a motorcycle, so they ask me all these questions about my bike. But for the most part, I think they low-key think I'm cool. They just don't want to admit it. Low-key think she's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> do you have any advice to other women out there or girls who are thinking about riding and they're not sure where to start? Well, definitely. I don't know. Probably definitely do it because honestly it's worth it. Number one, it's such a like great experience to be able to have. And like you'll never be able to experience something like that unless you actually do it. And number two, it's just you get bragging rights obviously because that's pretty cool. Be able to tell people that you ride a motorcycle, especially as a woman. But I don't know. I mean, I think everybody should do it, but I think women are slowly getting to overpower the things that aren't looked as women things and they're slowly getting there so so if there's a woman out there who wants to start riding what's the first step well you have to go to a class first how so, was the class oh the class was good two days long and i learned so much in that class for only being two days obviously enough to be able to ride for ever after that so and we're talking about the msf beginner rider course right mm -hmm. and how was that how hard was it it was not hard at all and they were super awesome and it's just I mean I think it 
it probably most places you go is going to be the same you basically they teach you the basics and then that's really all you need to know i mean there's little hints you pick up after riding for a while and riding with other people but it's pretty simple and i think that might be another reason why people don't do it as much especially girls maybe just because it seems like it could almost be a very intricate thing to do when in reality it's just like very simple not as hard as it looks right yeah and how for people who haven't ridden a motorcycle how is it different than driving a car if you're going somewhere what, what do you experience differently well i mean number one you experience the craziness of drivers because you have to be heck of safe driving a motorcycle but it's just it's just a really big rush basically like you know when people go do crazy things and then they get that rush well that's what you get when you get to drive on a motorcycle like the wind and the power that you feel and it's just like being able to weave through turns it's just it's such like a exciting feeling better than just turning the wheel yeah. and listening and to the radio yeah. especially if you got music pumping in your helmet mm -hmm. that's pretty cool there you have it women and men should ride motorcycles right yep well thank you for agreeing to be on camera mm -hmm. you're the best special guest we've had so far i know the only special guest we've had so i far. know <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Mike from Mike and Ty. Thanks, guys.